Hey everyone out there, this is Tony the Happy Stingray coming at you once again. Uh, I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. I had an issue with my recording software, but I am ready to uh, be back to making videos. Um, huge shout out to the Merlis Action Team. They were very good with helping me. Um, that's the recording software I use. Anyway, we're here to talk about Final Fantasy VII, the remake. And, uh, you know, you, the community, when they were going to remake it, they're like, oh, geez, great, another remake. Uh, here we go. I'll put that right next to my every other game here, my, my 17th God of War game that I had to rebuy because everything is getting remade nowadays. But then once you look into it, as a Final Fantasy fan, um, I, I looked into it, and I was like, okay, so, all right. I'll bite. You know, the video game companies have a, have a huge budget nowadays. Let's see what they got. I dug into it. I looked at all the stuff. I watched the trailers. I watched the gameplay stuff, and I immediately fell in love with it. It was it was it looked incredible. Um, it truly was a remake, not like an HD upscaling, like what's been available on Steam for the past couple of years. It's it's what you're looking at right now. This was like the the upscaling that they ported over to the PC, um, which I love that they did because I never w had the chance to have this as a kid. So I still get to experience an amazing story. Um, to some, the best story um, in Final Fantasy. Um, and, it, you know, I don't get to miss out. So anyway, they're, they're remaking it, and it looks incredible. And I was immediately on board. I'm like, all right, sweet, cool. Let's see what you got, Square. Um, when's it coming out? What's this? Like, I still have a couple of questions, so I dug deeper, dug deeper, and I eventually found out that they're going to be like, oh, yeah, so it's going to be this, it's this, it's like the diff different combat system, we're going to release it in parts, okay, um, and an episodic system, and when we, uh, when we when we do this, we're going to be able to do this, and it's like, whoa, 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 wait, hang on a minute, Wh what was that mid part, what was that middle part, um, what, back up, and then Square be like, oh, yeah, we're, we're releasing it uh, episodically, and it's like, why, why, that doesn't make any sense, why would you do that? And then Square's like, yeah, but, but there's space issues. And it's like, um, no. Good try, though. Um, very interesting topic here, Square, if I may give you a history lesson. The platform that you are releasing it on, or the, and the platform that pretty much, like, gave you, uh, this, this title, the platform to give you this title in the first place, um, to insult the technology that they pioneered for the new the new era of like disk software I guess or disk hardware hardware software I don't know um, hardware I suppose um, the blu-ray disk Sony pioneered the blu-ray disk I don't know if any of you out there knew that um, leave a like if you if you knew that and then good for you but getting back to the topic at hand uh, do it's a dual layered blu-ray disk that they that they put these games out on right so that means there's 120 gigabytes of storage on these disks. And they're going to go ahead and say that there's a size issue? There's a space issue? Like an internal saving space issue on these disks? That's 120 gigabytes of space. you got to be kidding me. Now, I understand that the game is long and there's a lot of space. And, and the game is visually incredible. It, it, it looks amazing. Okay. Um, so I'll level with them there, and the game is very long, but how much are they going to put into it? 120 gigabytes? That seems insane to me. Like, why would they do... And then, you know, they're, they're like, that doesn't, that doesn't add up. It's a, it's a Blu-ray disc. What, that, you know, the community was like, we're not stupid. Don't insult us. Tell us what's really going on. And they're like, oh, well, you know, we wanted to release it in episodes so that we could also, um show you guys more of Midgar, we can give you more add-on content, and it's like, oh, that's right, they're remaking it for 2015, so they have to make a game in the style of 2015's market, which is, fuck the consumer, let's just sell them one game in three parts, and give them a third of a game at the very end. We'll call it DLC, right EA? Uh, anyway, I was really upset to find this out, and I just, I can't stay on board with an idea like that. Now, it does hurt my heart, I will say, that I won't be buying this game. I will not support this kind of game development and these kind of business practices with my hard-earned money. I work way too hard to get fucked in the end. 
uh, by stupid, stupid, lazy practices like this. And normally I'm like, oh, guys, you know, you got to see both sides of this. I'm, I'm not like that anymore with this. I just, they had me and they lost me by, by, continue, by making the game like this or, or remaking the game like this. They, I just can't. I'm speaking with my money. I urge you to do the same as well. But also, if you were thinking of buying the game and you still want to buy the game, good for you. Do what you want. Do what you want. Do not let my I don't know, perception of this uh, sway you one way or the other. And don't think that I think differently of you whether you choose to buy it or not. These are my opinions. This is how I'm going to spend my money. And I don't believe that this is a fair way to treat your customers, Square. I really don't. I don't care how much money you really want to make on the back end. You're fucking your, your audience that's been with you since the days of this and before. And it's insulting. It's quite frankly insulting. And I'm, and I'm very upset that a company that I've known and, and loved for a very, very long time uh, is turning to a practice like this. Uh, I just, you know, it, it really, really weighs heavy on me uh, to know that they want to treat their people this way, their supporters of so long. But anyway, uh, the combat system looks great. It's from Crisis Core. Uh, it looks a little more improved. Um, Crisis Core, Final Fantasy Type-0, whatever, whatever way you want to run it uh, or look at it. Um, it looks amazing. Visuals look amazing. Voiceovers look all right. I mean, it, it was clearly the translated versions from, I'm, I'm sure they're going to line up the, the lip syncing with the voice, with the English translation voices so that it doesn't look all choppy like it did at the, at the release. Um, and, uh, you know, cause it was clear that the, that the in-game models were lip syncing the Japanese words and not the English ones. It was just a dub. Um, I'm sure they'll fix that or something. I, I don't know. Um, but whatever they do, if it's still being released in an episodic format, I will not be uh, buying it because there's there's no way I'm going to be treated like that uh, for my money. For the amount of money that they will be asking for, there is no way. So thank you all so much for listening to my ramblings. I have been the uh, Happy Stingray, Tony, and I will see you in the next adventure.